issues. That's what's being done now. Have you ever pondered throwing a bottle into the ocean with a note inside or ever dreamed of finding such a message sent adrift? Well, about a month ago, a bottle washed ashore in the Bahamas with an enclosed letter written in Hebrew. It eventually reached IBA's Aria O'Sullivan, who tracked down the woman who authored it. A bottle floating for years on a shipless ocean beached finally upon the shores of an island in the Bahamas. Inside was a handwritten letter in Hebrew, dated April 30th, 2012. I was completely surprised and pretty much shocked. Um, um, I never in my wildest dream had thought that somebody would actually find a bottle that I threw in the ocean so far away from a land, for any land. Two years ago, a small yacht set out from the Caribbean islands to cross the Atlantic Ocean. It would be nice, it would be funny, it would be pretty cool for somebody to find the bottles, but it, that was not the main issue. The letter found its way to my sister, who lives in the state of Minnesota, and she sent it to me. Maybe you can decipher it, she asked. The letter begins with the words, Dear God. It was signed, Yael Eisner. It's a fantasy. You throw something in the ocean. You see that in movies or read about it in books, so maybe it can happen to you. Just to communicate or connect to somebody, somebody completely uh, a stranger to you, that would find something that you throw in the, in the ocean and maybe join your, even for a little bit, join your path of life in a way or your personal story or, I don't know, it's just magical. It's just very naive, I think. I started to track her down and the internet is like a deep, deep ocean, but I managed to locate her. <laughs> Yell Eisner, it turns out, lives in Chaffa, just a few meters from the sea. I didn't remember it was written in Hebrew, so uh, for me, I thought maybe I actually written something in English. So I thought, well, this is it. Somebody knows something very personal about my life. Um, oh, oh no, oh God. <laughs> and then uh, I started to be a little scared of what I wrote. <laughs> I try to recall exactly what I was feeling, um, watching the amazing sunset that we had almost every day in the ocean, um, throwing this bottle with wishes to my really amazing friends and family, um, just wishing them for a really good life and for myself too, you know, with my praise. Um, the world is so great, things can happen, good or bad. I'm just hoping that everything is going to turn out good. I feel very little, like really, really small. Um, in a way, it's a pretty, it is an, an overwhelming feeling. Um, it's a little scary, but also um, you feel like the world is much, much greater than you and all these billions of people on this planet. And it's very cosmic and mysterious and wonderful and very powerful. Ima. Mum, I love you very much, and I hope you'll find some peace and joy in your heart, that you'll find some love for yourself and some days of peace. Dad, I love you very much. I wish you peace and joy, that life will look a little less stressful. Well, I seal the bottle with um, epoxy glue, which is pretty uh, stable. Yael cast the bottle into the heart of the Atlantic, and it traveled over 1,130 miles until it reached the Bahamas. Sometimes, when you write a letter to God and throw it into the expansive, deep, azure ocean halfway around the world, sometimes it makes it to the Holy Land.
Financial news now.